Hi guys, today is the 30th of December, which means that we're almost within touching distance of the new year. Now I'm really excited about what 2019 has to offer, but first, I thought it'd be a good idea to share with you some of the favorite places that I visited and photographed in 2018. So this video is gonna be all about that. Now, if this is the first time that you've landed on my channel, you've watched no videos up until this one, you might like to have a look at some of these videos in full. So if that's the case, I'm gonna put a link at the top of each area throughout the video so you can click on that and then watch the full video. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy, here it goes. The first place I want to share with you is Lumsdale Falls. This is one of the first places I started vlogging. In fact, I think it was the second. So it was very new to me back then. And what this video doesn't show is how busy it was. So I had to get over camera shyness and be confident straight away. This place was beautiful though and it had a series of waterfalls which cascaded their way through a set of ruins. It provided me with some really stunning photographs. The second place was called Cheedale Gorge and I was surprised to find out how beautiful this location was. It's often overshadowed by Dovedale because both places have stepping stones but Dovedales are a lot better known. Now this place felt like it was really tucked away and almost untouched beauty. When I visited here to capture a photo of the stepping stones, when I arrived I was disappointed to find out that the water level was low, but as you can see I was still having fun. I still managed to get a really beautiful shot of the stepping stones though, even though the water was low. Next on my list was the Three Shires Head. I think that I'm the only person to have walked for hours in the wrong direction and I got both me and my father lost. I will say though that when we actually found the place it was completely worth it. Two beautiful waterfalls providing stunning compositions and I was happy with both the photographs that I walked away with on this day. Next was Bamford Edge. As you can see here, I was sprinting back to save my gear from falling down a cliff. Now this location really reminded me of how much Mother Nature can play a part in landscape photography. The wind was relentless and it provided me with a very tough day of photography. I was happy to say though, that I managed to walk away with two photos that I was really happy with after lots of patience and perseverance. After spending four weeks in the Peak District, I was really ready for a change and I decided to go to somewhere called Carding Mill Valley in Shropshire. This location was a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful. Now I had lots of fun with my dad on this trip. As you'll be able to see, he's ruining some of my recording as usual. What I love is though that me and my dad always managed to have such a good laugh. Oh Greece, what can I say about this place but absolutely stunning. The sunrises and sunsets in Greece were incredible. This is one of the photos that I captured of a sunset seascape and I didn't even use any filters on this photo, it just came out of camera like this. Of course, with a little bit of the vibrancy touched up in Lightroom. It was a huge contrast coming back to the UK with the changing climate, but what better place to visit than one of the highest waterfalls in the UK. It was autumn here and the colors were so vibrant and beautiful. And this place, Pistol Radar, was a lovely location. It was made even more impressive 
by the time of year I visited it. I spent the day here capturing impressive waterfalls and foliage and it's definitely a place I will be coming back to visit again. Snowdonia was next and for those of you that have visited this place you will know how epic the beauty is here. It also has completely unpredictable weather. This was my most challenging photography journey yet. It rained, it hailed, and there was 40 to 50 mile an hour gales. To say the photography was challenging was an understatement. But wow, what a place. And my next day in Snowdonia, the conditions were a lot better. So I managed to capture a famous castle in the blue hour. On the same trip by complete accident, I discovered one of the most amazing waterfalls I have ever visited. This is called Swallow Falls. I visited a local forest at the end of autumn and it reminded me how you can find real beauty just on your doorstep. You don't always have to travel lots of miles to find it. I really enjoyed shooting this woodland vlog and capturing some really nice photographs. Last on my list is the Lake District. I had an injured leg and the weather was forecast to rain the whole time I was there. But nothing was going to stop me from visiting this amazing place. I enjoyed every moment of this three part trip and I got to visit some of the most wonderful iconic locations that this incredible place has to offer. Now the rain was non-stop, especially on the second day when I visited Wastwater, but I still managed to get some great shots, even though the weather was against me. So just before I leave you all, uh, so you can go and enjoy whatever you're doing with your time off, I wanted to share with you some of my plans for 2019. So, the first thing I want to be doing more of is collaborations. Now I know a lot of you are doing these, something that I want to do more. I think it's really fun and it's a great way of getting out there and learning from other photographers and just enjoying kind of spending time with people which have the same passion as you, which is photography. Also, if you didn't know this, by the way, I actually have a blog which I release every Friday. This is on my website, and if you'd like to read that, it's all about landscape photography, then you can do. I'll leave a link in the description area below, so all you need to do is click on that, and it will take you directly to the blogs that I've already wrote. Finally, I am releasing on February a podcast. Now, I'm really excited about this. I know that a lot of you, and myself included, don't always have time to watch videos because of work, because you're driving somewhere, or just because you're doing something. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to release a podcast. This would be interviewing other people on YouTube, on Facebook, and other landscape photographers. And it's gonna be something that you'll be able to just listen to when you're busy, essentially, when you can't watch a video. Now that's starting in February, so please keep your ears posted for more about that coming soon. But yeah, really excited about that, can't wait to do it. Finally, I wanna thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate you spending your time watching my videos. It's still pretty amazing to think that I could produce a video and someone 
can be sitting there on their computer enjoying my content you know it still amazes me to this day it doesn't doesn't quite sink in to be honest with you but I'm just so grateful for all your support it means a lot to me and it enables me to be doing this which is something that I am passionate about and I love every single day now I want to wish you all a prosperous 2019 I hope you have a fantastic celebration don't drink too much and yeah I am looking forward already to seeing you in the new year for my next installment. Have a great time, guys. I'll see you all soon.